This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Web Development 2, Level 10, JavaScript Return to... Hmm, is it something here? Return to Thornbrush. And I want to zoom back in because it's easier to read my code then. All right, goals. St goals. Stop all the ogres. Save all the peasants. Your functions can define more than one parameter. All right, and a parameter is stuff we pass to functions. If that doesn't make sense, I'll explain. So... Function, maybe build trap x, y. So when we call a function, when we ask the computer to run all the code inside of our function block, we can give it variables, we can give it arguments, we can give it info to use. This one, this function is given x, y info. And here's a function call. There's no code in this yet, right? But here's the call to the function that's giving it these numbers. So in the function, every time I use x, the function says, oh, what's x? Uh, zoop. And it looks back to where I called the function to find out what the variables or what the arguments mean. Let's try. Okay. So, we have these comments. Comments start with these two slashes in JavaScript. Those are for programmers, right? The computer skips over it when it runs. Uh, use build x, y to build a fire trap at the, at the given x, y. So, we, let's see what we have here. If x, y, and we're inside this function, build trap, Okay, so we need to build x, y. We don't want to build a fence, though. We want to build fire hyphen trap. And then where? Well, we're not sure, but whatever they give the function, whatever x and y the call is going to give the function, is where we want to build it. So I'm going to set this to x and y. I'm going to delete that, and hopefully that will work. I'm going to get rid of this comment because I read it and I used it. would like to get all this on one screen. Yep, so I'm going to get rid of this comment as well. Okay, let's see what we have here. Build tr wall true. They call build trap, maybe build trap, while the coordinates of the, with the coordinates of the top entrance. Okay, so that must be here, 4350, and it is. Now, use build trap at the bottom left. Okay, so I'm going to say, what's the bottom left coordinates? Bottom... Oh, bottom left, they must mean here, which is 2634. So I to call the function, I'm going to say baby, maybe build trap, and then 2634, I think is what I just said. Let's double check. 2634. Let me hit run and see what this does. Yeah, and then, so the code starts, it runs this, maybe build traps, it goes up to maybe build traps, and it looks... Okay, I'm going to pause all this. I'm going to get rid of this comment. I want to be clear here. So, let's get rid of this comment. We don't need it. We already did this part. All right. So, when I hit run, it sees the function and says, okay, there's a lot of code there. Cool. But it doesn't run anything inside of this. It's going to run the wall true loop. The first thing I ask in the wall true loop is, hey, computer, go back and run maybe build trap. The computer looks around. What? Uh, oh, here it is. What's my X, though? Oh, uh, 43. What's Y? Mm, 50. And then it goes, okay, I'm going to run this code now. Hero move X. Oh, X was 43. What's Y? Oh, 50. Okay, hero move to that spot. Variable, find nearest enemy. The, we create this new variable. The hero looks around, finds an enemy. We then check if enemy actually exists. Hey, did the hero find anyone? If true, the computer says true, we drop down, and the hero will build a fire trap at X. Oh, wait, what's X? Ugh, boom. What's Y? Boom. Then we hit the end of our function, and the computer now runs the code beneath it, where we run maybe build trap at 2634. And our hero will walk over there, just like with this command, and it runs through the function again. Finally, we want to build it at the bottom, and the bottom is at 4320. So maybe build trap at 43 comma 20 semicolon. I don't think I need this extra space. Let's try this. Oh, awesome. 
So this was what worked for me. But again, if you don't understand some of this, if you're just trying to copy this down fast, you're not going to get it. You're not going to be able to do these levels and you don't understand code. Go back, watch the video again. If one part doesn't make sense, watch this again. All right. You want to hear me explain it. It's going to need to make sense. Otherwise, it's going to really hurt in the future. Awesome. Let's keep going.